Hey guys, National Info here. Today we're going to be talking about ancient Roman surgery. Stay tuned to find out about ancient Roman eye and brain surgery, and learn about ancient tattoo removals as well. Let's get started. While many Roman doctors had no idea what they were doing, they at least had an advanced surgery practice for their time. They could perform many different surgeries with the same skill and success as today. The Romans learned about the human body from the Greeks and took surgery methods from other conquered peoples, such as the Etruscans, Egyptians, and Persians. Due to the ash from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD falling on the towns of Herculaneum and Pompeii, surgical tools and medical buildings were preserved and discovered centuries later. These tools included forceps, scissors, scalpels, probes, catheters, bone levers, and more. The surgeries that the Romans did ranged from small tumor removals to hernia operations. One of the common surgeries was eye surgery. The surgeries helped minimize cataracts. They used a thin needle to go through the eye and break up the cataract. Then, with a small hole in the needle, the broken up pieces could be suctioned out. This procedure restored at least a moderate amount of sight for the patient. Now let's talk about plastic surgery. Surprisingly, plastic surgery has been prominent for thousands of years. The Romans, like many people today, were obsessed with their physical appearance, so they would have surgeries to fix minor things like stretched earlobes or major things like tattoo removal. One report of plastic surgery discussed an individual getting his earlobes repaired after years of wearing heavy earrings by having the excess lobe trimmed and the holes sewn together. Tattoo removal was a very expensive surgery which was commonly used by freed slaves, but it could be used by anyone. Slaves were branded to mark them as a slave, so if a slave was freed, he might get his tattoo removed so he could better assimilate into regular society. Brain surgery was an effective surgery under the right circumstances. For example, trepanation was an operation which gave relief to those with incurable headaches, and relieved pressure on the brain as a result of head injuries. To do this, the surgeon used a drill bit to drill a circle into the skull. Patients had a high survival rate, and, amazingly, no anesthetic was needed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and most importantly, share this video with your friends and family. Because we can't monetize our videos until our channel hits 10,000 views, so keep sharing. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Big thanks to our Latin teacher, Magister Crawford, for inspiring this video, and Blake and Ian for helping with the video. If you want to be responsible for the next video, vote in the poll on the top of your screen on what our next video topic should be. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya!